Rebecca with Advanced Green and this video is going to be all about water-based discharge inks. So we have several options at Advanced Green for water-based discharge. Union Ink has water-based inks. This DSPP9050 is a discharge base. For this product you would add in 6-8% of your discharge agent, the ZFS powder, which also stands for zinc formaldehyde sulfate. It does not require any pigment. This is to be able to discharge and remove the dye from the garment. You can utilize this product as an underbase instead of using an underbase white. If you wanted to do a discharge white, you need DSPP 1003. We also carry two different lines of water based inks. We have Matsui and we have CCI T Charge. With Matsui ink, we have bases and we have raw pigment. The raw pigment can be added into a Matsui base like this dischargeable 75 white at 15%. So you can add up to 15% pigment to base ratio. The other water-based discharge that we have is CCI's T-Charge line. CCI has these pre-mixed primary colors and they are ready for use out of the container. You can utilize them in a Pantone matching system or you can discharge them on dark color garments. We here at Advanced Screen sell many different types of emulsion. For discharge, we want to try to have more of a sturdier emulsion that's going to be able to withhold against the discharge agent while printing. If you're going to be doing anything under 50 prints, you may be able to get away with the emulsion that you currently use without any kind of hardener. If you use a pure photopolymer emulsion, which is just a single part, you don't add a diazo sensitizer into it, we have something called Chromoset Hardener. Chromoset Hardener is manufactured by Chromaline. This product is used on a screen after the art image area is removed. The emulsion that I'm using on my screen today is going to be Chromaline's Chromatech WR for water resistant. There is a hardener or a diazo sensitizer that you can get for this emulsion. I'm only going to be doing a test run so I'm not going to add any hardener into it. If you're going to be doing long runs it is highly suggested to be able to put that diazo sensitizer into your emulsion just to have that safety net so when you're on press your screen doesn't break down. You do not want an early stencil breakdown. Do keep in mind when you add any type of sensitizer into your emulsion, it does shorten the shelf life. You have about three to six weeks to be able to utilize that emulsion. For pure photopolymer emulsions, we have about 12 to 18 months shelf life. If you're utilizing something like Marikami's Photocure Blue, which is a single part pure photopolymer emulsion, you can get a diazo sensitizer for this emulsion. You don't have to add the entire sensitizer into your gallon of emulsion. You can pour it down into a quart size container and we sell the two gram amount of diazo sensitizer for that emulsion so that you can just activate a smaller amount so you're not wasting the entire gallon that you have on hand. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to mix the CCI Tea Charge ink. It's a little bit easier to use because it's pre-mixed. All we have to do is add in the ZFS agent or the discharge powder. And we're gonna do that at the six to 8% ratio. When you need to find the value of the gram amount to be able to add in, we're gonna take the amount of the ink, which is gonna be in grams. So say we have 100 grams of ink. We're gonna take 100 and we're gonna multiply that by 0 0.06 and that'll give us six grams. Okay, gram scale, we're gonna turn this on. Make sure that your unit of measurement is at a gram amount. And we're gonna tear out the weight of the scale so that it doesn't affect the weight of the ink. We're gonna bring that amount back to zero. Okay, so we're at an even 100 grams of the T-Charge ink. So we're gonna add in six grams of our discharge powder. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on press and we're going to put it onto a black 100% cotton garment. The reason why we use 100% cotton garments is because the discharge print does come out a lot more vibrant 
It works a lot better. This is 100% cotton garment from Next Level. This is a Next Level 6040. So you can see here that the print is a little bit more muted. It didn't discharge out completely. Um, you can utilize these garments still for your discharge printing. Just know that it might not come out as bright and vibrant as you thought. So let's go ahead and we'll put our screen on press. We're gonna be using a 200 mesh. I don't wanna use too high of a mesh count because I don't want the dry out on the screen too quickly. And I don't wanna to use too low of a mesh count because we're working with a very uh, thin ink. So I don't want it to fall through the mesh count either. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys have questions, please give us a call 480-858-9804 or visit the website advancedscreenprintsupply.com and happy printing.